Hey everybody and welcome back to another virtual science short. This week we're going to be doing another electricity themed activity. If you guys don't know, September is electricity month here at the Science Center. So we're bringing you all sorts of different activities, videos, and take home STEM kits that you guys can actually use once you get home. So let's see what we've got in our kit today. Now this STEM kits feature activity is going to be the graphite circuit craft. And what we're gonna be using is a little pencil that comes in here. You guys are gonna actually be able to make a circuit that's gonna be able to light up a little LED just by using a graphite pencil. So things that you can actually find in your house to make something really cool. So enough talking about the kit, let's go ahead and actually do the craft. All right, now that we have our STEM kit opened up, let's go ahead and get started with our craft. Now the key to the craft is going to be your graphite pencil. Now that word I keep using, graphite, is a special compound that can be found inside of a normal pencil. And this graphite has some very key properties that's gonna help us actually create a circuit on this piece of paper. Most importantly, this graphite is conductive, which means it's very easy for electricity to flow through it. So using just our pencil, a piece of paper, our LED light, and a nine volt battery, we can actually create our very own circuit. So let's get started. Now to get started, you wanna go ahead and pick an image that you're gonna draw. Since we're talking about electricity, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a light bulb. Now it doesn't matter if you're not the best artist, we're gonna go ahead and fix this a little bit later. The important thing you wanna do is make sure there's gonna be a couple of different breaks inside of your image. So you don't want it to be fully complete. I'm gonna put my breaks down here. So you can see there's a couple of areas where my image doesn't connect. These are gonna be the contact points for the actual battery and the LED. And once you have the drawing drawn, you're gonna to to fill or shade it in. Now while graphite is conductive, there's not going to be too much of it found inside of your pencil shaving at any given time. So the darker and more you draw out your lines, the more graphite is gonna be there. It's gonna increase that conductivity and make it easier for the electricity to flow through. Almost done here, so remember, shade it all the way in as much as you can, but make sure you leave those breaks. All right, now that we have our drawing done, we're gonna do a couple of things to make it easier for us to complete our circuit. Now, if you've never dealt with circuits before, we have a couple different videos that you guys can watch. I'll link up to those up above. But the basic thing you want is to make sure that the positive end of your battery is also going to connect with the positive end of your LED light. If you're having trouble with that, you wanna look very carefully at the legs of the LED. The longer leg is going to be your positive side. The shorter leg is going to be negative. Now, to make it easier on our paper, we're gonna go ahead and actually place a positive sign and a negative sign next to the different terminals that we have. So positives and negatives, just like that. All right, now that we know which side is positive and negative, we went ahead and attached our light bulb to the positive and negative ends. If you have a little bit of tape, you can use that to secure the light bulb in. You might have to bend the legs a little bit too. Now on the opposite side of our circuit, we have another positive and negative gap. Now, what we need to do to bridge this gap is add our power source, and that is going to be our nine volt battery. Now, the easiest way to find which side is positive or negative on our battery is to actually look at the long side. This plus sign is going to correspond to the positive terminal or the circular side here, and this is going to be our negative terminal, which is hexagonal. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure the hexagon is placed on the negative, the circle is placed on the positive, and that's going to close our circuit. Now it's kind of hard to see with the lights on, so let's go ahead and turn those lights off. Now you can see once we actually hold our battery to our circuit, you can see a little bit of that light shining up, but it's probably not as bright as you may have been expecting. Now, most of the pencils that we have do contain small amounts of graphite. That's why you wanna make sure you really shade it in, but there are some very special graphite pencils that you can use, and those are going to be much more conductive, therefore giving you a much brighter output in your LED. Now let's go ahead and turn our LED off and get our lights turned back on. 
Now, isn't that super cool? We're able to create a working circuit right here with just a few household items. Now, you guys can get this STEM kit if you guys come to the Science Center at all. During the month of September, we're actually gonna be giving these kits away, complimentary with your admission if you're checking out our 1130 STEM Interactive. But if you can't make it to the Science Center, you can also purchase these STEM kits online for just $5. All of the proceeds will help go towards our education initiatives and of course, keep the lights on and help us continue our mission to open every mind to science. My name's Christian, I'll see you guys next time.